What we're going to do in this video is get some practice dividing expressions. So what do I mean by that? So let's say that I have the expression 6x plus 12, and I want to figure out what that divided by, maybe I'll write this in a different color, divided by 2x plus 4 is. And if you are so inspired, I encourage you to pause this video and try to work through this yourself before we do this together. All right. So first of all, we could think there's many ways to write this same thing. We could have also written this as 6x plus 12, let me put a parentheses around it, divided by, divided by 2x plus 4, 2x plus 4. And when you divide something by something else, and let's say we get a question mark right over here, or we could say we do this division and we get a question mark over here. Another way to think about it, let's imagine if we multiplied both sides by 2x plus 4. Another way to think about an equivalent statement is that 6x plus 12 is going to be equal to this question mark, question mark, times 2x, 2x plus 4. So another way to think about it is what can I multiply by 2x plus 4 to get to 6x plus 12? Well, here you might say, all right, to go from 2x to 6x, I would have to multiply by 3. So that's multiplying by 3. And then to go from 4 to 12, I'm also multiplying by 3. So if my question mark is 3, it feels like it's going to work. If I take 3 times, let me write that in yellow, 2x plus 4, we can try it out. Well, we can see that when we distribute that 3, 3 times 2x is going to be equal to 6x, and then 3 times 4 is going to be equal to 12. So the answer to our original question, what is 6x plus 12 divided by 2x plus 4? Well, that's going to be 3. Our question mark is 3 in this situation. Now, the example that I just gave you, that's a situation where we don't have a remainder. But now let me give you an example that does have a remainder. So let's think about... If I have, and I'll try to get the colors again, 6a minus 11 divided by, let's go with purple, that's always a little fun, divided by 2a minus 5. And actually, I didn't have to write the parentheses the way I wrote it right over here. But one way to think about it, just like before, we could say that this is equal to question mark. Or another way to think about it, if we multiplied both sides by 2a minus 5, or you could say, if I have question mark times 2a minus 5, 2a minus 5, I am going to get 6a minus 11. That is going to be equal to 6a, I don't have to write parentheses at this point, 6a minus 11. So we could do the same idea. We say, all right, to go from 2a to 6a, I would multiply by 3. I'm multiplying by 3. Now, we might be tempted to say, well, what happens if I multiply 5 by 3? Well, that's not going to get us the exact same thing. That's actually going to be 15, or negative 15. I have this negative sign out here. Not negative 11. And so this isn't going to be exact. But we can write it with the remainder. Let's say that this is going to be roughly 3. Let's figure out what we get when we multiply 3 times 2a minus 5. And then from that, maybe we can figure out the remainder. So if I took 3 times, times 2a minus 5, that, and we just talked about it, is going to be equal to 3 times 2a is 6a. And then we could say, and then we're subtracting 3 times 5, which is 15. So 6a minus 15. That is obviously different than what we saw up here. But what if we could rewrite what we have up here? So we have 6a minus 15 and then plus or minus something else. So let's try to do that. So I'm going to rewrite what we have up here. So I have 6a minus 11. Well, how could I write that with a minus 15 and maybe a plus something else? Well, minus 11 is the same thing as minus 15 and then plus 4. Remember, I'm just rewriting looking for colors here. I'm just rewriting this negative 11 or the subtracting 11 as the same thing as subtracting 15 and then adding 4. This is the same thing as a negative 11 there. 
And if we write it that way, something very interesting happens. Because I could put the parentheses here. I could also say, well, let's just subtract the 15 first. And then all of that, of course, is divided by 2a minus 5. 2a minus 5. Well, we could also rewrite this as 6a minus 15 over 2a minus 5 over 2a minus 5 plus 4. 4 over 2a minus 5. All I did, think about it, if I was going in the other direction, I have the same denominator here, so I could just add the numerators. Now, when we, what we actually did in this situation is we started with the numerators being added, and we say, all right, well, this is the same thing as 6a minus 15 over 2a minus 5 plus 4 over 2a minus 5. But this is really useful because we just figured out that this whole thing right over here is the same thing as 3. So we could say that our original question, what is 6a minus 11 divided by 2a minus 5, we could say that this is the same thing as 3 plus 4 over 2a minus 5. And so you could view this right over here as the remainder. It goes three times with the remainder of this. And I know this is a little involved. You might have to watch this a couple of times to get exactly the intuition of what just happened. But in the future, we're going to find more systematic ways of doing this that maybe will require a little, uh, it'll be a little bit easier to do. But it's really good to understand what we just did.